Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins the Math Club. Today I'm now doing the topic subtracting mixed numbers. Okay, now from our previous topic on adding mixed numbers, this is pretty much the same thing except we're going to be subtracting instead of um, adding. Okay, so over here on the board I have two mixed numbers which are two, three, uh, two, two out of three. Okay, and one, three out of five. Okay, now to do this, first remember we'll have to put the whole numbers which are which is three and the one aside okay so let's put the whole numbers over here so three and one okay now we can uh, not worry about the whole numbers and just go ahead and do the fractions okay to subtract the mixed numbers we will first have to um, make the fractions uh, with the common denominators and as, I, as you can see here these two fractions do not have a common denominator so we need to find the common denominators make the right fractions and then add with the uh, whole numbers okay so first let's do two out of three okay two out of three let's make um, okay two out of three and three out of five okay we need to align these two fractions okay so two out of three and three out of five okay now you can see it better that we need to find the common multiple okay the least common multiple actually for these two denominators which are three and five okay so let's come over here the number three and five and we need to find the common I mean the least common multiple okay so let's write the multiples of each number up to five okay so three times one is three three times two is six 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, okay, and then 5. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20, and 5 times 5 is 25. Now we have to find the, the least common multiple. And as you know, the least common multiple is the first common multiple you find, okay. So 3, there is no 3's here. 6, there is no 6 in this. 9, there are no 9's. 12, there are no 12s, 15, oh wait, there is a 15, that means there are two matching 15s, and since this is the first common multiple, this will be our least common multiple, so we take the uh, least common multiple, which is 15, and we come back over here, and we rename the fractions with 15 as the denominators for both of the fractions, okay, now to do our numerators, okay, how do we do this? Well, if you remember here, you, for, you uh, to make uh, to form the numerators, you will have to multiply the the numerator with the uh, that uh, with the number that you uh, used to multiply to get the uh, 15. Okay, so what times three is equal to 15? Well, if we come over here, we know that three times five is 15. So we, since we did 3 times 5, we'll have, we'll have to do 2 times 5, okay? So we uh, multiply the numerator with the same number, okay? So 2 times 5 is 10. So our numerator for the fraction 2 out of 3 will be 10, okay? Our new numerator, okay? Now, 3 fifths. What times 5 is 15? If we come back over here, we know that 5 times 3 is 15, okay? Since 1, 2, 3, okay? Three numbers and then you get 15. And same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five numbers and then you get five in the times table of three and five, okay? And in the times table of three. And the number 15 comes third in the times table of five, okay? So five times three is 15, right? So we'll have to multiply three with the same number, which is three times three. And we know that three times three is nine okay so the new numerator for the fraction three fifths is going to be nine okay now we have our two fractions which are 10 out of 15 and 9 out of 15 okay now we can bring back bring back our whole numbers but first we'll have to write the new uh fractions down okay so we can bring back our three and we can bring back our one, okay? So now, all we have to do is subtract, okay? So first let's do the whole numbers. Three minus one is what? We all know that three minus one is two, kindergarten math, okay? So bring the two down, okay? Now, the fractions, okay? 10 out of 15 and nine out of 15. 
All we have to do now is simply subtract 10 out of 15, okay, minus 9 out of 15. Remember that we don't subtract the denominators, we simply bring them down, okay. So, so 15 comes out as is, okay. Now, the only thing we have to do is subtract the numerators, which is 10 and 9, okay. So, subtract them and we get 1. 10 minus 9 is 1. This is also kindergarten math, okay. So, we bring the 1 over here and we have our new fraction, which is 1 out of 15. And if you see over here, we got our final answer, which is also a mixed number, and it is 2, 1 out of 15, okay? So this is how you subtract a mixed numbers, okay? And uh, stick around for more topic videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.